Okay, we're going to use Checkpoint today to look up technical advice memoranda. So I have a list of technical advice memoranda I have to look up here. TAM, a lot of times that's what you'll see the abbreviation there. So I'm going to copy this. We'll go to Checkpoint. And as you've heard me say before, I'm not a huge fan of their search box. I think it's very weird, but sometimes you can get good results. So I'll type that in there. We'll run a search. Hopefully the search will work. A lot of times Checkpoint will seize up on you and you'll have to go back. So it has a very weird ranking system. You would think this would just come up first, but it doesn't. They're bringing up first these federal tax cases. You scroll down, scroll down. There it is right there under IRS rulings and releases. It's very strange how they rank their results, but the most obvious one I would think would be this. So there it is right there. And then it comes up. If I were you to save this, what I would do, I would click export and I would export it as a PDF. Uh, it's very difficult to save URLs from here. These URLs will expire. It's, it's not an easy database to work with like that. Uh, there is a permalink option in here, but the permalink is tricky too. So I would just export the document as I do PDFs, whatever you want to do. Okay. We'll take this back. And how I would do it, because I have a bunch of these to look up and I don't want to have to go through this every time all this scrolling, I would go back here to home. This, when you click federal, this is like the home button <laughs> in checkpoint. It took me a long time to figure that out. Anyway, so what I don't like their search box. So what I would do, I would go to quick links and I think it's going to be under probably here, find federal rulings. Yes, PLRs. TAMs, FSAs, and other FOIA documents. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Let's look at that again, just, just to show you how I get directly here. Go Quick Links, Find Federal Rulings, and then TAM is right here. Now, what you want to do, see, this is a little tricky. If I search for TAM here, when I'm in this area with TAMs, if I search for TAM and that number, it probably won't be able to find it. Nope, nothing. Okay, so... That's wrong. It's in there. It's just, it's such a picky database. You have to take that TAM out. Since we're searching in the TAM area, you do this. And there it is right there. So I might go here just because, okay, and I'll download this somewhere. I might do it this way because I've got a list of these I have to look up. So I'll just take the number. I'm going to copy this. Then I'll use, I actually use the back key in checkpoint, which is weird for databases, but I'll use the back key. I'll go back, get rid of that TAM for the next one I have to look up. And there it is. So a couple ways, and remember the federal button is kind of like the home button for checkpoint, as strange as that seems. If you go from this first page, you'll probably get pretty good results. If you put TAM in there, from the first searching page, just realize you're gonna to have to scroll through all these things and really look for it. And it's easy to spot since I clicked on it before because it's purple, but it's very, I think that's very strange. Or I, how I, if I, especially if I was going to have to look up a list of these, there's my federal button, my home button. Um, I would go to quick links. I'd go to find federal rulings and I'd go down here to this area with TAMs. I'd put that in, I'd take out the TAM and just search for that number because I won't find it otherwise. And there you go. And then I would export the document right here. Probably for me, PDF, because I like PDFs. Okay, that's how you do it. Let me know if you have any questions.